In most organizations, employees are grouped logically according to their function or position. For any employee, the logical grouping is based on the work group, task group, and time reporter data. Your time and labor administrator is responsible for creating enrollment rules and assigning time and labor setup for each employee. And when an existing employee is promoted or has some other job change, the administrator has to update the time reporter data. Manually maintaining the time reporter data for every hire or job change is time consuming. PeopleSoft Time and Labor Auto Enrollment can streamline your administrator's work by easily automating the enrollments in time and labor for all hires, terminations, and job data changes. First, let's set up auto enrollment by logging in as an administrator and using the auto enrollment options on the installation table. We need to choose whether to process enrollments in real time or in batches. Selecting real time processing means that enrollments happen immediately. If unchecked, it conserves processing power by enrolling employees in batches. To preview the enrollments in fluid pivot pages before you update your time reporters, turn on preview mode. The Retro Limit field specifies how far back in time the auto-enrollment framework can process data changes. Any changes beyond this time limit appear as an error. Specifying the max employees in a batch controls the number of employees in any one enrollment batch. The Exclusion List is a query that identifies the employees not automatically enrolled in time and labor. You can specify when, after an employee's termination, the enrollment for an employee is inactivated using the Enrollment Inactivation fields. Use the Enrollment Group page to specify the employees to include in the enrollment process. You build the queries that Auto Enrollment uses to define employee populations. These queries control the employee population. The second step in the setup process defines the time reporter data attributes and controls the enrollment values for the selected employees. The final step in setting up your enrollment group is setting the default user preferences for your enrolled employees. The Schedule Assignment group pages work like pages we just saw. The first page defines the group of employees and the next page defines the Schedule Assignment values. In this step, you can group employees using a query and then assign them to a schedule. The Schedule Assignment page lets you assign schedules to the employees selected in the first step. Select the Run Control parameters on the Process Auto Enrollments page. You can select employees individually, specify a group query for processing, or run it in batch mode for all employees. You can use data correction mode to correct enrollment rows for a specific period that contains previous time reporter data values. Log on to the system as an administrator or manager, and the manager self-service page shows the auto enrollment tile, which shows the number of errors and enrollments that are ready for you to preview. When you select Preview Mode, you can find the enrollment information in an interactive pivot grid report on the fluid pages, so you can review the enrollments and any errors before posting. Previews show you a chart where each bar of the chart represents an enrollment group. You can drill down on each bar for more information. You can expand the panel on the left side of the screen to filter your results using additional facets. Use the Bulk Mode icon to select more than one employee at a time. The Options icon enables you to take actions like update filters, export data, set chart options, and save your information. You can also see a chart for errors in time and labor enrollments and schedule assignments. You can filter the errors shown by drilling down on the chart or using the facets in the left panel. After you correct an error, run the auto-enrollment process to save the corrections. PeopleSoft Time and Labor Auto-Enrollment reduces the workload for your HR group by streamlining the enrollment process while giving the managers a way to preview time and labor enrollments.